Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton is ordering a statewide review of government sexual harassment policies. This after a growing number of women are complaining about lewd behavior by state lawmakers. The latest complaint comes from a female staffer who says a lawmaker sent her a Snapchat photo of male genitals. Pat Kessler is here. Pat, every day this week something's new. Yeah, there's something almost every day. It's been going on for a week. The latest com uh, complaint brings to five the number of women in politics at the Capitol who say they've been the targets of unwanted sexual attention. The governor again called for the resignations of Democratic State Senator Dan Schoen and Republican State Representative Tony Cornish. They're both accused of repeated harassment, charges they deny. Governor Dayton says all the reports are signals the state government is not doing enough to protect women. Our employees in the executive branch, legislative and judicial branches deserve, j just as our citizens do, safe and, and constructive working environments. So far, Senator Schoen has hired an attorney and is refusing to resign, triggering a possible ethics committee hearing to publicly air the charges against him. It's the same with Representative Cornish. He denies the charges as bogus. So there's a lot more to go here, but it doesn't seem to be slowing up. Uh, no, by any means. I mean, I know yeah. you're going to kind of expand it and even dig a little deeper uh, tonight at 10 on Reality Check. Uh, yeah, we are. The, we've been hearing about this for weeks now with Harvey Weinstein and, and Bill O'Reilly and Louis C.K., but now we're hearing it in politics. We're hearing it at capitals, and not just at Minnesota's capital. We're hearing about it at capitals all around the country. We're going to take a look at that tonight at 10. All right, Pat, very good. That's uh, Reality Check with Pat Kessler tonight at 10.